Breck holds its first candidate forum for the busiest race of the upcoming election season. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, the numbers are in from President's Day weekend on I-70, and traffic smashed another record, with more than 182,000 vehicles traveling through Summit Friday through Monday. That's 5,000 more cars than the previous record set in 2017, with average daily traffic this holiday of 45,550 vehicles. It's a bluebird powder day during the snowiest February in Breckenridge Resort history, and just about 60 people spent the morning inside the lodge at Breck for a town council candidate forum hosted by the Summit Chamber. Nine council and three mayoral candidates answered questions for two hours, covering hardball topics like a minimum wage increase and planning for economic downturn, and not-so-hard topics like the feasibility of DNA testing for unscooped dog poop on town trails. Incumbent Mayor Eric Mamula. There's not one challenge for this community. There's a thousand challenges. Halfway through the forum, the chamber asked every candidate for one-word answers to hot topics. Eric, do you think minimum wage should be raised to $15 an hour? Depends. <laughs> okay. James. Yes. Nate? Depends. <laughs> Jeffrey? Considering. Dick? Properly. Okay. Dennis, we're getting creative. Possibly. Okay. <laughs> Jen. Considering. Okay. Yeah. Data. She took my word. Data. <laughs> Information. Properly. Town elections are this April, with races in Frisco and Breck. Dillon and Silverthorne canceled theirs for low candidate turnout. Tune in again at 4 and 5 p.m. for more from this morning's Breck Forum. A Georgetown jury found a Leadville woman guilty of second-degree murder this week for hitting and killing her boyfriend with a car in 2015. The DA's office confirms 49-year-old Maria Day hit John Alexander Martinez and left him for dead. She argued the transmission in her Lexus got stuck and she accidentally hit Martinez, but the jury was swayed by surveillance footage. She faces 8 to 24 years in prison. Avalanche danger is considerable today in the Summit Eagle County zone. You have two problems, persistent slab on all aspects and elevations, and wind slab on north through south aspects at and above treeline. In sports, the Avalanche lost to the Lightning last night 4-3 in overtime. All Colorado teams are off today, back tomorrow for the Avalanche. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon. Yesterday morning was the final race of the Breckison Uphill Series on Peak 7, where Ava Hagen finished first overall on the short course, and Eugenio Perez was top man. Mike Hagen won the long race, Kate Zander was fastest woman. All Summit High sports are off today, back tomorrow for girls basketball, and the Frisco Freeze Fat Bike Race returns to Frisco. Frisco Nordic Center this coming Saturday, February 22nd, with three laps on Groom Nordic Trails for a total of 14 kilometers. Register online at friscoNordic.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.